What's going on guys? I'm back with a video and today we are doing my custom cow print headliner with the 300 piece starlight kit. As you can see, I've already took the headliner out. Um, getting the headliner out wasn't that bad because all you gotta do is take out the if nobody, if you, I know a lot of videos, they get off topic and they talk about how hard it is. It's really not. Screwdriver. But anyways, the headliner sits like that. You got your T15 bolts that sit up here for your visors. There's three on one side and I think one on the other. You just take them out and loosen them up and just pull the visor down. Um... The little handle that goes on the passenger side, that weren't much of anything either. It was just take a flathead screwdriver and pop the little panels out. You see the two little panel clips that sit inside the handle. You just pop them out and the handle comes down. Um, the cab light, all you gotta do is take a flathead screwdriver and pry that lens open. And then the way it's hooked, you got the plastic piece here and the piece of the lens that sticks like that. So once you pop that lens out, the lens folds out where you can just fold the whole light out and down. And it comes out real simple. Now, the clothes hangers that sit on the back, that is what I'm having the most trouble with, getting them out. So I'll probably just take a set of pliers or something and just pull them out. And then I'm gonna rip off this old fabric and get to laying out the new one, seeing how I want it. I'm also going to be doing like a diagram on the back of the headliner so I can figure out how many stars to put in like each section to make it easier for when I do the star lights. So I'll get back to y'all once I get the clothes hangers pulled out. Alright guys, I'm right back. Um, The issue I was having is it was getting stuck when I pulled the, I'll show you guys. See, when you first get them out the truck, they're gonna be put together. All you gotta do is really just pull that down. And then these little clips right here, you have to press them in and you have to pull them out. But the problem I was having, it was getting stuck right in there in the bend in the headliner fabric and it was wanting to pull the whole headliner fabric down. Which really, if you're doing what I'm doing and just completely swapping it out, it doesn't make a big difference if it rips it out or not. But I was just trying to keep the headliner still together in one piece in case, you know, in case I ever want to sell it or decide to put it back in just because I still have that option. So it's really just a matter of pulling those clips to a point where you can get past the headliner. And if you don't pull them down at one time all together, you're going to get in a bind. So always make sure you pull them clips out at the same time. And then just try to work it through, through one side and pull it out of the fabric. And then the other side, you just scoop it on out. See? So that's both of them. So I guess what I'm gonna do is flip the headliner over and start peeling up the old material and just giving you guys, you know, a time lapse or something of the process and how to do it and then I'll go further into depth once I get the old stuff off and cleaned up.
All right, guys, as you can see now, the headliner has been completely stripped off. Now, I know when most people do these videos on headliners, like I've, I've researched on YouTube, they normally decide to take off this foam, but I think I might actually keep it and just like get rid of the loose pieces. Like I had a loose piece right there, it broke off. But I think honestly, I'm just gonna keep the foam board piece on there because that's like really the only structural support that I really have with this. So I think I'm just gonna like, you know, make sure there's no rough edges or anything like that or anything that'll poke out from underneath it. And then just lay a new headliner out on it and get it started. So what I'll probably do is just put the whole sheet of fabric on there and I'll go into more detail about what I picked out and how much and where to get it and stuff. And then I'll probably just lay it out and cut out what I need and save the extra for something later. So I'll get back to you guys in just a second. All right, guys. Dang, I'm dirty. Anyways, I've got the headliner and just, you know, laid it out on the board. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half of it. Yeah, I'll flip the camera. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on one half I'll probably start on this half first and just flip it over, spray the glue on it on both sides on the fabric and the headboard. And then just like, you know, try to work it and smooth it out the best I can. Try my best not to have any wrinkles in it because I do not want wrinkles in it. And it's gonna be hard when the wrinkles go in to put them star lights through the wrinkles because then it's not gonna look right. So, I'm gonna set you guys up, time lapse all this, and if anything happens, I'll pause time lapse and update you guys. All right, guys. I've been messing with this headliner all day long, and it's like four o'clock. I've got it done. I trimmed a little bit off. I still gotta go through and wrap the edges up, and I keep having a problem right here where it's like wrinkled up and it will not form in any type of way to the headliner won't smooth out or nothing and I, I i'm really irritated with it i'm just i'm through with it i'm throwing in the towel i give up with it i'm just gonna cut the edges and trim it all up put it up in there and then work on the starlights so whenever i finish doing this i'll put the camera back up and i'll put in the starlights and or well really i need to cut out the pieces so I can put my interior trim back in and then I can put in the star lights for you guys so I'll pick you guys up once I finish doing the edges all right guys well I've got majority of the corners all folded in and everything as you can see it is I don't even know if it's even worthy of putting back in the truck but here it is I've got I got this side you know pretty much nearly perfect got right there at the end it completely wrinkled up and there I couldn't smooth it out or nothing so I just I got tired of messing with it and I'm leaving it like it is if there's anybody that knows how to do headliners or anything like that I'll rebuy the fabric and you can have at it I'll pay you whatever so pretty much that's just where I'm at with it and that's just how I'm gonna leave off on it. So I guess once I finish doing, I think the only side I got left with the corners is that side right there towards you guys. Once I finish with that, I think I'm gonna finally do the star lights, which is, you know, it should be a little bit easier. My anger issues are kind of triggering right now because I mean, I have a headliner that is completely, you know, just, just trash to me. And I know I'm not a, you know, upholstery fanatic. I'm not a, any type of level of professional at any of this. So if any of you guys have tips or tricks or anything else, then let me know. 
But otherwise, I'm just gonna put this in my truck and do the star lights, and then if somebody wants to do it for me, I'll pay you, whatever, I don't care. I'm just, I'm done with this. Or if anybody has any suggestions on where I can go with it and get it redone, same fabric and everything, I'll pay to get the fabric and pay to get it done, let me know. But other than that, let's do some star lights, guys. All right, guys. I got the headliner the best I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just tuck it all up in there. Um, as you can see, I divided it up into six little areas. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six areas. I gotta do 50 holes in each, which is not a lot. It's actually not nearly as many as I thought I would want. So like for this piece, I didn't get nowhere near the handle or nothing. So I mean, I'm only covering 50 and just right there. So, you know, further on, I might get a bigger Starlight kit. And once I get somebody to redo the headliner or if I actually, you know, can do it myself and just redo it and feel confident in it again, then I'll upgrade and probably get like a 500 piece Starlight kit or something. Because what I got right now is not a lot but it'll definitely make a difference. So I'm gonna go through and pinpoint all these holes and then I'll give you all the process of putting the starlights in to the headliner. Mm -hmm. All right guys, as you can see, yes. putting the starlights in, we've got four in so far, another 296 more to go. <laughs> it's gonna be a long process. As you can see, the headliner did not come out you know, really good on this end, but the other end, looks pretty amazing actually for me never doing this work like all these wrinkles and stuff mm -hmm. but they're mainly on the outside so i'm not really too worried with it until you know i save up some more money and actually get somebody to do it professionally maybe but as you can see we're doing it all with a thumbtack and a safety pin mainly just to not mess up the headline or any by drilling or anything but this is not if it comes down to it, we'll probably grab the drill and do this. So it'll be a little quicker. So, yeah, this is how we're spending New Year's Eve. All right, guys, update two hours later. We got two whole sections done. That's 100 strands of lights. We're gonna come back. We're gonna do it the next few days. Um, I'll end up having this video posted up after New Year's. It's New Year's Eve. We're about to get chill out and, you know, enjoy the time together, be together for New Year's until I go back to work tomorrow morning. So I'll pick you guys up whenever we work on it and yeah, see you guys. All right, guys. Day number three should be the last day of this process. As you can see, we've made tremendous progress. Had to bring in the chair for extra support, but I mean, the wiring's kind of a mess right now, but we'll fix that whenever we get closer. I think I got like 14 more holes in this section and the last section is going to be right there in the middle so probably about 60 more holes so i'm gonna keep going until i get it done i'm finishing it tonight this has been a three-day stretch um also i picked up my interior i was going to make a video and tell you guys about updating y'all and stuff but i ended up getting leather interior tan dash everything the whole nine yards i'll end up showing you guys that and might put a, put a few pieces together tonight. I don't know yet, but yeah, here we are with Starlights. All right, guys, as you can see, all 300 Starlights pieces, fibers, whatever you want to call them, are all in the headliner. We're currently, you know, trying to pull them tight, but not too tight, and then we're gonna run hot glue, as you can see, being in the works hot glue on all 300 strands and then we're going to cut the little excess off the bottom then hopefully get this headliner in the truck before midnight that's the goal
So, once I get in the truck, I'll do a little cinematic shots for you guys and let you guys see it. All right, guys. Four long days, probably about 20 plus hours. About 20 plus man hours, women hours as well. We finally have the finished product. Alright guys, I'm just now getting around to editing the headliner video and it should be posted this afternoon before 12, but if not, then around 12. But anyways, it was a long, it was a long little testing experiment for me. It took four days to get it all exactly how it needed to be. Even though the headliner didn't come out right, I mean, it, it looks good enough for now starlights they look you know fantastic because it's just nothing but drilling a hole and putting them in and cutting them and gluing them but other than that you know i've got to end the truck partially i still got to get the visors and stuff in and the seats and full center console that i ended up getting as you'll see in the video i gotta completely rewire all of my seats because i have full manual everything i don't have the power switches for the seats or not and they're heated too so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna heat them and the center console i have to you know figure out the four in the floor ordeal because most people they don't have four in the floor they have the four four by four button shift so i gotta figure that out as well and then i'll do a video going into that telling you guys how i'm gonna do it the best i know how but pretty much, you know, this new year starting out pretty decent with that being done. That was my big project that I wanted to get done New Year's and ended up getting it done. And, ooh, voice crack. <clears throat> Anyways, starting this year, I, I was going to make an update video telling you guys about the interior and the headliner stuff and telling you guys when I was going to do it. But I just ended up going ahead and doing it and not posting a video. So... I'm gonna include this in the video, even though it's a few days after New Year's. I've set myself some goals and some resolutions this year. Mainly, one aspect of it's gonna be the social aspect of it and where I wanna go business-wise, you know, YouTube-wise, Instagram, TikTok, et cetera, et cetera. Mainly on my Instagram, I want to, you know, just increase my audience. I want to get more attention on my page. And I think with YouTube, that's really going to help because if I keep going with the fan base I've got, I think I'm in a pretty good strong suit to just, you know, let Instagram be, post whatever, whenever, and update you guys on the YouTube stuff and vice versa, post on YouTube and let you guys know on Instagram, etc. But I mainly just want to get my follower count up, get a bigger audience, get some more support for the channel and stuff. Um, the business aspect, as I'm talking, I want to, as I'm doing the truck build, I want to get, you know, some sponsors on board. If anybody wants to sponsor, I know I'm not big at all, but I'm providing content and honest reviews and stuff like that for you guys. Um, I'm looking at maybe potentially starting a detailing business I've did a little design last night of it and if you go to my Instagram you'll see in my bio I've got it and you just click it it's called Price is Right Details um if I get the clientele base and stuff like that like I want to where I could potentially make that a full-time job and have my own business that would be pretty nice and then I wouldn't have to worry about you know I could quit all my other jobs and 
quit having to worry so much about, you know, money and spending my money on the right things and the wrong things because hopefully I'll make a good enough amount to pay all my bills and have a little extra spending money. See, with my jobs now, I don't really... I don't really save a lot of money with it because I'm spending money on bills and eating out and stuff like that that I really shouldn't. But anyways, you know, if it gets to where I can make it a full-time job and an actual business, then I will, you know, let you guys know and that'll help me out a lot because then, and you guys, I'll be able to post more videos and do more stuff and also, this year, I want to bring in another build. If you know me, you know I've always had a Tahoe, and I want to go back and get me another Tahoe. And instead of lifting it this time, I think I'm going to try out the lowered scene. I'm going to try to make it fast, you know, play around with it, see what I can work out with it. So if you guys like that idea as well, let me know. Um, mainly, like I said, if the business goes where I want it to go, then I can possibly do all this stuff within the next year. If not, then I'm going to have to, you know, work my tail off and still make it happen because these are my goals and I'm making sure I verbally let them out and then I could come back and look at it and say, hey, this is what I want to do and this is what I said I was going to do, so I'm going to end up doing it. So, you know, if you guys like the idea of a lowered fast Tahoe on the channel, let me know. If you guys like the idea of me starting a detail business and would support it and, you know, if we get big enough, I'll buy merch and stuff and sell it out to you guys or stuff like that and just to, you know, show support. And that's pretty much about it for right now, as far as I know of. Um, also, I just got a Facebook mission. That's what made me think of it. The 22s on my truck could be potentially getting sold or traded for something else. I don't really know yet. I've got like maybe 40, 50 people that have hit me up in a duration of like two weeks that I got to sit down and really figure out the best deal possibly to work out with somebody in order for me to, you know, get rid of them. So I'm going to do that and then edit this video and post it, which it'll be posted when you see all this. So anyways, I hope you guys had a happy new year, you know, happy Merry Christmas. I know it's been a while since I posted, but I figured I'd start out the new year starting to put out more content for you guys because you guys seem to have been, you know, supporting the channel really good. And I know my, my truck stuff is starting to get numbers on it. My YouTube shorts have gotten a lot of numbers on it, but it's just a YouTube short. It's like TikTok. Anybody can look at it and then just scroll through. But the likes and the comments are really where it's at for me. That way I know you guys are truly liking the content and not just watching it to watch it because I asked you to. But anyways, enough of that. Like I said, I hope you guys had a good holiday. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, which should be coming up real soon. Hey. Before I take a nap, nap, before I go to sleep, sleep. Count a hundred rats while I'm praying on my knees. Chop up with the 50, wicker, make the bitch breathe. Never snitch.